you can join me on my private patio. Our bougainvillea is bursting. So today, pros and cons of living in Mexico. I think I'm going to start with the cons first. Um, it's loud. <laughs> At any given time, there can be a, which is currently happening in my life right now, a business has found its way under my terrace. Um, cleaning cars, revving motors, repairing engines, that sort of thing, and it just happens. Nothing is going to stop it. It's a family boondocking right under me. Um, and this has been going on for several weeks. So late at night, children will be running around screaming. Um, cars will be revving, like I said. That's attractive at 7 a.m. when you're trying to sleep um, for the last half hour because you didn't sleep that well last night. So loud con, big con. Um, and then uh, there's not really too many things I can think of, but another one is people are very afraid because of the cartels and that sort of thing. But um, if you live in a heavily guarded area, because the police really do want to protect us so we can keep spending money here. Um, so, you know, you'll see people, you'll see police walking around with big machine guns every now and then um, just to have a presence. And actually that makes me feel like, okay, uh, I do feel safer. Maybe that's my white privilege talking, but um, I do live in a heavily touristed area, so um, it's policed very well. And cons, I'm trying to think, oh yeah. You gotta be very careful uh, walking around uh, because there's potholes, there's steps you don't see, there's crumbling things. You know, walking on cobblestones isn't that easy. <laughs> and I don't even wear high heels, but really, pay attention. Look where each step is going. Um, and there can be pollution and trash around, um, so pick some stuff up and help make it cleaner. Okay, let's get to the pros. Um, food, oh my God. I've traveled a lot in Latin America and South America. I've spent more time in Latin America, Guatemala, Belize, Mexico, and the food is the best in Mexico. The avocados I have bought here, one is in my room right now, are so delicious. They're absolutely, and you can't, I mean, they're not, you can't get amazing avocados everywhere you shop, but when you find that one place where the avocados are particularly amazing, you go back there. Um, and then the food in on the street is absolutely great. There's these fruit drinks made uh, with water and fruit. Probably a lot of sugar, but better than a Coke. I mean, it's just done fruit drinks um, that usually are served with your meal. Included. Um, so the food is spectacular. And you know what? Another thing. Oh, can you hear yelling in the background? That happens every day here. Um, the business is going full, full bore down there. Um, oh, the next thing, friendliness. Wow. You know what I love? Um, I did not find this in Thailand. When you are speaking Spanish, you don't get laughed at for saying it wrong. Like they really, like if if they know any kind of English, they're going to be able to accept your Spanglish. Because half of what I say will be in Spanish and half will be in English. And okay, maybe I don't sound like I've lived here forever because I haven't. But they help me along. That is like a friendliness on a huge level that you don't find in every country. And I really appreciate that because I'm new here um, and I need help. Yo necesitas ayudara. I need help in Spanish. So the friendliness is amazing. And I've even taken the public bus and have had men stand up and give me their seat. The only other country I've seen that in 35 countries is Argentina, is a regular rule, and once it happened in Nepal on a local bus without asking. So the friendliness, the food, um, 
there is a lot to like about this country. It's low cost. If you pay attention, you can pay quite a bit less than you would in the USA, for example, and Europe. Um, lots of smart Europeans come here to have vacation. Um, so, I would say those are the top three things. Um, you just have to be aware and stay present and notice your surroundings and be in the right neighborhoods. So, pros and cons. Ask me questions about living in Mexico. I have been here two months now. December. Yeah, and I can tell a lot in two months about a country because I don't just stay and do nothing in my room. I mean, I am working a lot, but I go to a lot of places. I try things out. I take local transportation. I also take Uber a lot. Well, maybe not a lot, but I do. I like to walk, so I walk a lot. I swim in the ocean. This is a really Puerto Vallarta is one of the top places you could live in Mexico. So questions below. I would love to answer your questions. Let me know what you're thinking. And uh, wondering if you want to go to Mexico. Pros and cons. Thanks for liking, sharing, interacting with me on YouTube. I really appreciate it. So see you in the next video.